That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say. You're riding high in April. Hey, everybody. I hope everyone's having a good day. I um, just thought I'd make a quick video and fill you guys in. Um, kind of take you along the process uh, of filing for disability. Um, I went in and talked with them in their office uh, last week. Uh, it took about five days and they called me back uh, for a phone interview. Um, today I was on the phone with them for about an hour. They asked questions about uh, my previous employment, um, school, um, what mental illnesses I have, what medications I'm taking, um, how my mental illness keeps me from working, um, just questions like that. The guy was very, very nice. Um, and I think the interview went pretty good. I uh, is now sent off to the, I have to get some paperwork in the mail and sign release forms um, for me to talk to my uh, uh, psychiatrist and let the psychiatrist release the information on me which I'm sure is going to make for a pretty interesting read but uh, it seems like the disability uh, system wants you to be um, crippled really uh, before they'll even you know think about saying yeah go ahead on the first time at least that's what I'm hearing from most people who have got it and they say um, you know not that I'm glad I have more than one mental illness but they say the more you have the better the chances of getting it approved the first time um, they're saying it's going to take from 30 to 90 days um, to get a yay or a nay from them so um, after that if they say no um, then I will appeal it. Uh, I will get an attorney, and it's a, it's a huge hassle. It really is. Um, but I have no choice. I going out and public for me is like uh, someone who is scared of spiders laying in a nest of spiders. It, it terrifies me. Um, also, I've been my past uh, few weeks. Um, my mom has been real sick. Um, she started off like a week before Christmas with bronchitis and all that, and um, where she had been sitting in the chair for so long, feeling good or feeling bad. Um, uh, her legs had swollen, um, edema, and it caused them to leak fluid. And um, let me getting that taken care of and. Then we went to the doctor and he's like, well, I think maybe I want you to take some heart tests. And that scared her to death and scared me. And we went yesterday and she had an EKG done and everything turned out fine. Um, um, my mom will be 80 years old next month. Um, and I thank God she's been here with me my, you know, this long. and uh, She's in pretty good health. Um, uh, the EKG came out good, and uh, um, I think it's more of a precautionary thing, you know. And next Tuesday, she has to go have a nuclear stress test, which is where they shoot radioactive juice into your veins, and it shows if there are any blockages in your heart or whatever, you know. And um, hopefully that'll go good. Because the doctor said that you know the sound coming out of the heart was good and strong. And he said he didn't think there was any blockages, but he just wants to, you know, make sure. Which is just, you know, the sign of a good doctor. Um, just making sure. So I've been trying to, uh, you know, look after my mom and cook for her. And I can't cook. Um, steaks on the grill. Um, microwave. Um, rice. Yeah, I can do that. But, you know, um as far as cooking a meal, a huge meal. Uh, so I've been trying, you know, to get good things and that are easy to fix and, and, and do it that way. But uh, it has been a really big stressful time for me. Um, 
my anxiety has been off the hook. Uh, and I don't like going to doctor's offices and I had to do that. And, um, you know, the whole disability. So this whole past week, I've just been shot. A whole bundle of nerves. And, um, <coughs> hopefully everything will pan out in the end. And, um, you know, mom's getting better and better day by day. Uh, and, um, hopefully, you know, for too long she'll be back to her old self and, and I'll get approved for a disability. Then I can start mapping out my future, I guess. Um, I guess since I really accepted the fact that I have a mental illness that I I guess I kind of put my life on hold. I didn't worry about, you know, anything. Um, I was, and I still am, um, I'm embarrassed by it. Um, I'm ashamed of it. And I know I shouldn't be, because I can't help it. But still, I mean, you know, when somebody says, hey man, what's wrong with you? You know, you don't want to go down the list and tell them all the, all the shit that's going on with you. So, but what are you going to do, huh? And hopefully I'll get better too. You know, I uh, I really like to live a normal life. Um, just be able to go out and do something. Um, I think I think the guy said with my uh, disability, it would only be like I think it was seven hundred a month. I think I can't remember. Somewhere close, but um, it's not enough to survive on. You know. Um, but it helps, I mean, because right now I have nothing at all coming in, and it's tough, you know, I mean, I mean mental illness, healthcare in America sucks in general, I mean, especially mental health care. I mean, it's just, it, it's ridiculous, I mean, we'll spend billions of dollars and send billions of dollars to other countries, but, you know, our own government's not willing to help us here. You know, we'll, we'll be the first one to send $10 billion to some third world shithole, you know. And, um, I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying I mind helping these people out, because I don't. But I'm a true believer in take care of the home front first. And, you know, not just for people with mental illness, but people, um, medicines, for instance. I had to get my mom these two medications, and, uh, one was a uh, Spirovent, I think it's called. The one's like Ativer. And I asked the guys, well, how much is this going to be? He goes, well, without insurance, it's like 350 bucks for these two little inhalers. And I was like, holy shit. But with her insurance, thankfully, it came out to be like 40 bucks for everything. But, uh, yeah, man, I mean, insurance is just the biggest fucking ripoff. You know, um, and healthcare is just the doctors are good, don't get me wrong, but the system in general um, sucks, just completely fucking sucks. And try to find mental health help with no insurance, it's hard to do. Uh, luckily I live in a town big enough to, where they have, you know, um, state sponsored mental health um, counseling and, and psychologists and psychiatrists. And that's who I see now, you know, I mean, and he's a good guy, um, he really seems like he cares uh, about people, and I feel very lucky in that aspect that I got a good doctor, and um, he really seems to care, so, oh, well, I'm at nine minutes, guys, um, take care, thanks for watching, guys, and um, we'll see you next round, take care, bye.